Hello everybody! Welcome to today's reading through the Bible in 365. Today we are going to be focusing on Psalm chapter 16 and chapter 17 and then Acts chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. I feel like it's going to be super duper short today. Um, let's get started with Psalm chapter 16. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. The land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Chapter 17 O oh Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. I have followed your commands, which keep me from following cruel and evil people. That bird wants to be heard. My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O God. Bend down and listen as I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me from murderous enemies who surround me. They are without pity. Listen to their boasting. They track me down and surround me, watching for the chance to throw me to the ground. They are like hungry lions, eager to tear me apart, like young lions hiding in ambush. Arise, O Lord, stand against them and bring them to their knees. Rescue me from the wicked with your sword. By the power of your hand, O Lord, destroy those who look to this world for their reward. But satisfy the hunger of your treasured ones. May their children have plenty, leaving an inheritance for their descendants. Because I am righteous, I will see you. When I awake, I will see you face to face and be satisfied. Moving on to Acts chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. When the uproar was over, Paul sent for the believers and encouraged them. Then he said goodbye and left for Macedonia. While there, he encouraged the believers in all the towns he passed through. Then he traveled down to Greece, where he stayed for three months. He was preparing to sail back to Syria when he discovered a plot by some Jews against his life, so he decided to return through Macedonia. Several men were traveling with him. They were Sopater, Sop Sopater, Sopater <laughs> son of Pyrrhus from Berea, Arista Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from Derb, Timothy and Ty Ty Tychius, I don't know, Ty Tyche Tychicus and Trophimus, oh my gosh, from the province of Asia. 
They went on ahead and waited for us at Troas. After the Passover ended, we boarded a ship at Philippi in Macedonia and five days later joined them in Troas, where we stayed a week. On the first day of the week, we gathered with the local believers to share in the Lord's Supper. Paul was preaching to them, and since he was leaving the next day, he kept talking until midnight. The upstairs room where we met was lighted with many flickering lamps. As Paul spoke on and on, a young man named Eutychus, sitting on the windowsill, became very drowsy. Finally, he fell sound asleep and dropped three stories to his death below. Paul went down, bent over him, and took him into his arms. Don't worry, he said. He's alive. Then they all went back upstairs, shared in the Lord's Supper, and ate together. Paul continued talking to them until dawn, and then he left. Meanwhile, the young man was taken home alive and well, and everyone was greatly relieved. Paul went by land to Asos, where he had arranged for us to join him while we traveled by ship. He joined us there and we sailed together to Mytilene. The next day we sailed past the island of Chios. The following day we crossed to the island of Samos and a day later we arrived at Miletus. Paul had decided to sail on past Ephesus for he didn't want to spend any more time in the province of Asia. He was hurrying to get to Jerusalem, if possible, in time for the festival of Pentecost. Thank you for joining me for today's reading through the Bible in 365. I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye!